I've been involved with search and rescue for almost 20 years. The rescues can be very physically demanding. We'd be called out in the middle of the night and have to hike to the top of a mountain. I was doing a first aid course for search and rescue and we were learning how to do blood pressure. And my partner was doing my blood pressure and he was getting very high readings. And the nurse came over and she pointed at me and she said, you need to see a doctor. You need to get this checked out. Eventually I have an ultrasound. So they said, oh, you've got cysts in your kidneys and they explained this disease, polycystic kidney disease. Basically it causes high blood pressure, fatigue, and it eventually leads to kidney failure. On the one hand, when you get a diagnosis like that, it says your kidney's gonna fail in about 20 years, it's sad. But at the same time, it kind of lights a fuse and you think to yourself, well, I better do something with this time I have. And so I kept at it. In 2017, I did a rescue. I remember rigging the ropes and thinking, I'm a little out of breath. I'm probably gonna have to stop this. And that was my last rescue. I didn't want to be a liability. When I step back from being field active, there's still a lot of work to do for search and rescue. I'm now trained as a SAR manager. Even with uh, my kidneys not letting me be in the field, I still feel like I'm an active contributing member of the, the team. As my kidneys slowly decline in function, at some point, I'll either need dialysis or if things go well, a transplant. If I'd been diagnosed earlier, it's possible that it would have pushed it down the road a little further. Anybody who has a possibility of PKD in their family, it just makes sense to be diagnosed as early as possible and to know what your options are. A progressive disease, it's always better to catch it early so that you have as much time to handle it as possible. You have to face the reality.